Hello friends, in a new episode of the course, Powerful Vocabulary for Reading Success. As we used to in the previous episodes, at the beginning we will learn about the vocabulary and its meaning, and then we will put it in a beautiful and interesting short story, and then we will give you some tips and duties that you must do so that today's lesson is firmly established in your mind. So what we want from you is to focus on the lesson and complete it to the end so that you do not miss anything. Let's start now. Vocabulary words. You will hear the verb in three different forms. Present. Past. And past participle. Awake. Awoke. Awoken. Become. Became. Become. Bite. Bit. Bitten. Bring. Brought. Brought. Creep. Crept. Crept. Find. Found. Found. Grind. Ground. Ground. Leave. Left. Left. Rise. Rose. Risen. Shed. 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 Spread. 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 Spring. Sprang. Sprung. Swing. Swung. Swung. Tear. Tore. Torn. Understand. Understood. Understood. Now it's time for the story. Read words in context. The title of the story is A Day in the Life of the Taino. Long ago, the Taino people lived on some of the islands in the Caribbean Sea. They lived on what are now Puerto Rico, Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. This story shows what the life of these Indians was like more than 500 years ago. A Taino woman awoke at dawn. She rose early and got up from her sleeping hammock. This hanging bed swung between two wooden posts inside her house. Then she prepared breakfast for her family. She took some corn flour from a basket. The flour had been ground from corn that she grew herself. She mixed the flour with water and made corn cakes. Her husband and children sprang from their hammocks. They jumped up eager to begin the day. The children left the house to search for wood for the cooking fire. After they found the wood and brought it back to the house, she cooked the corn cakes over the fire. After the flat cakes were baked, she spread them out on a mat. Each member of the family tore off a piece of corn cake to bite into. During the day, the Taino mother and children took care of their corn, yams, and other plants. One child found a snake skin in the field, the outer skin that a snake had shed. The father joined a hunting party looking for iguanas and sea turtles. These hunters understood the habits of the animals they hunted. They knew where to find them. The hunters crept up behind the animals and caught them. The sons had become expert fishermen. Sometimes they caught fish with their hands, sometimes they used nets, and sometimes they used lines. Today, they were lucky. They brought home several fish to cook for dinner. Word learning tip. A verb is a word that describes an action or a state of being. It usually is the word right after the noun. Irregular verbs like the ones in this lesson. Don't form the past tense by adding d or ed. Vocabulary building strategy. Use context clues. You can find the meaning of verbs you don't know by using the context. Put together the meanings of all the words around an unknown word. Also look at the tense of the verb. This will help you determine a verb's meaning. After that, write, now and long ago stories. Work with a partner to brainstorm about how the morning activities of a family today compares with those of a Taino family of long ago. Think about how the activities are similar and how they are different. Then write a paragraph in your journal telling about the comparisons. Try to use at least four vocabulary words and four new verbs. Then write a character sketch. Create a character who's about your age and who lived 500 years ago. Think about what the character looked like, what the character's favorite activities might have been, and what the character's chores might have been. Try to use at least three vocabulary words and three new verbs in your description. Last tip for today's episode. There are many irregular verbs such as awake, 
bring, shed. These words in the present tense. And the words, awoke, brought, shed. These words in the past tense. And the words, awoken, brought, shed. These words in the past participle. The past participle of a verb is the form you use after, has or have. For example, the teacher has left the room. They have torn their tickets up. Go on, a word hunt find. A set of directions or instructions in a textbook, magazine, or newspaper. You can also look for recipes or directions for how to build something. Identify four verbs that give you a clear picture of what to do. Write these verbs in your personal word journal. Also write the sentence in which you found the verb. Now we have reached the end of today's episode, hoping to meet in the next episode. If you have any comments, questions, or anything, write to us in the comments section and we will answer you immediately, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye for now.